Stanford University. What we're proposing is let's open up camera architectures so that anyone can reprogram a camera. And that's what we're building. We'll have a, a paper at uh, the Summer's Computer Graphics Conference, the SIGGRAPH Conference, and we'll be releasing code that runs on Nokia smartphones so that anyone can reprogram their Nokia smartphone. The Lucky Cam is one of the examples that you'll be able to download when we release our FCAM API. It's pretty dark in this room, and normally you'd have no hope of capturing a blur-free handheld shot. Sometimes, however, you do get lucky, and you manage to capture one where your hand happened to be still. And it's going to take about 10 shots, each with a third of a second exposure, in a, over about three seconds. So this was the sharpest shot of the 10, which is the one we'd saved to disk. Just for fun, we also saved the worst of the 10, and you can see that it's hopelessly motion blurred. So this works pretty reliably. Uh, it just looks at the image to see whether it's blurry or sharp and saves the one that's sharpest out of the 10. We're working on two platforms. One is the Nokia phones down to which people can load software and reprogram it. We're, we're working on, uh, on to make these uh, applications more robust so that we could make them available for consumers. Uh, because they are still close enough to each other, we can combine take kind of the best uh, of both worlds so we can get the smoother colors. What we want, hope to do is to uh, put this, what we just showed you, and uh, put it to cell phones, make it available to every customer. And we're also trying to build a single lens reflex quality camera, and that's what's pictured here as our larger Franken camera. When we program this camera, we can program it. It's completely open. We, we will publish all of the details of the system so anybody can add on new hardware bits. Like we've got two flashes there and then the idea is you can program them however you want. So what we did in this case was we programmed one flash to strobe continuously and the second flash to do what's called second curtain sync, meaning flash strongly at the end of the shot. And if you throw a bunch of cards in the air and do those two things, strobing and second curtain sync, you get a picture like this. One reason that the mobile manufacturers seem to be ahead of the traditional camera makers here is because this is about software more than it's about hardware. And the mobile manufacturers are very comfortable with software. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.